now we're going to talk about slap tears and bicep tendon injuries. What is a slap tear? Well, it's an acronym. The S stands for superior, the L stands for labrum, the A stands for anterior, and the P stands for posterior. Hence the term slap. Well, the key part of that is the labrum. Now the labrum is like a rubber gasket, except in this particular situation, it's called fibral cartilage. And it rims the bony floor of the socket that's called the glenoid. Now here is a good picture of what a normal labrum looks like. And here is a picture of what happens when the labrum is torn. I often tell patients that the labrum and a dislocation is very much like a golf ball sitting on a golf tee. And that the golf ball is held on the tee when you have a nice rubber gasket sitting on the tee and you've got the pull of the rotator cuff muscles that help push it and pull it against the tee. When the labrum tears, you no longer have that nice protection that holds it into the socket. And the slap tear is a tear of a specific part of the labrum in the superior aspect of the socket. Now, when that happens, it's not the same as a dislocation. The ball usually does not come out of the socket, but the ball may start to move more. And patients often complain of symptoms when they're reaching overhead or if they're performing overhead activities like swimming or throwing a baseball. And here's a picture of what a slap tear would look like. Notice that it's the superior aspect of the labrum and the long head of the biceps tendon is the tendon you see inserted into the superior labrum. Now, because not all slap tears have symptoms, not all patients need surgery for this. The most likely reason to need treatment for a slap tear is the inflammation that results from the injury. Very often, the anti-inflammatory injection will reduce the symptoms and restore you to normal activities. But when you continue to have symptoms, that's when the discussion regarding surgical repair is appropriate. The surgical treatment for a slap is an arthroscopic procedure to clear the inflammation to clear the injured tissue. And for patients who have a particular type of tear called a type two slap lesion, often it needs to be repaired back to bone so it can heal, which will relieve your symptoms. Another structure that can be injured when you have a slap tear is the long head of the biceps. This is a tendon that attaches into the slap region and therefore can pull on the tear. And once the tear is treated, if the biceps tendon itself is not injured, no further treatment is required for the biceps tendon. So in summary, for slap tears, the symptoms that you are having are the most important part of deciding whether surgery is going to be indicated or not. And fortunately, most of those symptoms are coming from inflammation, so inflammation treatments can be very effective at treating slap tears.